Hey everyone, it's Thomas from Curvo here and I know, I feel you, it's been super difficult the last few days to see all the investments drop. But remember, stick to your plan and figure out why you started investing in the first place. So putting the current market drops in the context of a 5, 10, 20, 30 year plan should make them actually easier to face. And history shows us that over the longer term, uh, we're talking in decades rather than weeks, stock markets recover and tend to rise. So I have to add the obligatory disclaimer, like all finance companies, past performance does not guarantee future results. However, the global economy works in cycles. So periods of growth always end in sudden decline, after which the economy picks up again and the cycle restarts. This pattern has been observed over and over again during the past decades. To make it concrete, let's take the financial crisis in 2008. So the graph, which is now over my face, it shows that the stock market behaves in response to these cycles. And what you can clearly see is multiple longer periods where the returns go below zero. These periods correspond to recessions caused by the end of a cycle. So negative returns are obviously bad. It means that we're actually losing money. And so when we zoom in on the 2008 financial crisis, you can see that it's clearly visible. When news reports recorded this period as one of the worst crises in recent history, they were right. Stock markets went down by almost 50%. Although we're not at these levels yet with the current downward trend, it could actually well continue to significantly drop. But the fundamental drivers of growth haven't been affected. Innovation is what makes us all better off, which translates to economic growth and increasingly higher stock prices. And people are just as innovative now as they were last year, 10 years ago, or even 50 years ago. And so remember that when you're investing for the long term or for your retirement, you're actually planning to keep your investments for 20 years or more. This really gives you sufficient time to recover and also a few months or years won't actually make a big difference to your original plan. So stick to your goals. And if you're making monthly contributions, don't be swayed by the drops. Just keep going and continue to buy low. If you need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to book a time to chat with one of us at Curvo. We're happy to answer any questions that you may have. You can head on over to our website and reach out to us by going to that reach out to us section. All right. Thanks a lot. Speak to you next time.